Hello students, today you're going to take vocabulary notes on structural formulas. Remember that vocabulary notes are the ones that you draw the images and then you make original sentences. And just like always, I'll make the first original sentence for you, but you don't need a summary and you don't need an advanced question. Pause the video if it's going too fast or if you need a minute or two to draw an image. Make sure you have uh, taken the test already in step number two, I believe I made it. So make sure you take the test first and before you move on to this video. All right, let's begin. All right, let's begin. Number one. For number one, write structural formula. So we learned about chemical formulas and chemical equation. Well, structural formula, it's kind of a graphic arrangement, like an image, a picture, of how the atoms connect in a molecule. So here's an example of one. Here's H2O. So H2 is two H's connected to one O. So these lines here just kind of tell you that they're connected. So that's a structural formula. The original sentence you can write is, the structural formula shows how atoms are connected. So you see how I use the term structural formula in a new sentence. Do, that, do the same thing for the next couple of points. So here's more details. Like I mentioned before, H2 and O, so two hydrogen atoms plus one oxygen atom. Combined, you have H2O. So this one's called the chemical formula. And then this one right here is called the structural formula. It's like a drawing to show you how things connect. Once you've copied all this information down, make sure you have your image. The rest of the images, I'll show you which one to draw. You draw it here on the left-hand side. If you don't, you lose points. So make sure you have those drawings as best as you can. Okay, number two. So for number two, write isomers. Isomers are substances that have a similar uh, chemical formula to another substance, but a different structural, structural formula. Go ahead and take a minute to write that down, and then I'll show you an image. All right, I'll tell you what you need to draw, but for now, just kind of follow along here for a minute. If you can focus a little bit, because I know it's going to be hard to kind of follow. Hopefully, I'll make it as easy as possible. So here we have the chemical symbol C for carbon, H for hydrogen. Four, here's the subscript saying there's four carbon. But something that we know about carbon, looking at this drawing right here, is that the second shell, second electron shell, can fit eight electrons. In this image, it has one, two, three, four. That means that there's room for four more. When you write structural formulas, usually you have to account for all those valence electrons, or for those valence electron spots. So for example, remember I just said carbon has four valence electrons, which means you can fit four more um, electrons. So here's the C for carbon, and it means it can bond to another carbon into a hydrogen, hydrogen, and hydrogen. So the four bonds are accounted for. One, two, three, four. And then here's another carbon, and here are the four bonds accounted for again. Well, well this term isomer means that you can shape it in different ways. Uh, for example, butane, this uh, stuff that you have, this liquid that's very flammable and lighters, butane, has this structural formula. So it's still C4H10, so four carbon, 10 hydrogen, let's look at it again. One, two, three, four. So you see the four carbon and then the 10 hydrogen. Um, so that's butane, the liquid, like I mentioned. But you can also rearrange it in this other shape and still have one, two, three, four carbon and your 10 hydrogen. Um, and they're still bonded. Carbon can bond four times, hydrogen can bond up to two times. And this uh, thing called isobutane, which is also flammable, but it's actually more of a gas, um, a flammable gas. And it's in cylinders that you take like camping. So you can see that. Isomers are um, substances with similar chemical formulas but different structural formulas. They're arranged differently and then they have different properties as well. Okay, the image you should draw for isomer, showing you this one again, is this image right here. So take a minute to draw it. Write all those H's and C's with little lines or bonds and then just write the letters VS for versus this and this. So an isomer is two different versions of some similar material. Once you've drawn your image, let's move on to number three. And don't forget the original sentence. A double bond. So atoms can connect with double bonds or triple bonds. Let me show you the picture for three and four, and then I'll come back to these two. When it's time to draw the picture, draw this one for double bond, and then you can draw this one for triple bond. But let's look at this. So remember how I said carbon can have a maximum of four atomic bonds because it has four empty slots for electrons. Well here is a carbon connected to one hydrogen, one hydrogen, but there's nothing else to bond to except for a carbon. It can actually bond to it twice. It shares two electrons, so not just only one electron but two electrons, 
making it a very strong bond. But then in nature, there's also something that exists called a triple bond. That's when two atoms connect with three different electrons in the same shell. So this nitrogen connecting to the nitrogen and sharing those three electrons is called a triple bond. The way you write it is usually using three lines. The three lines equals that that atom and that atom are connected very strongly because this one has three electrons that they share. Go ahead and come up with your sentence for number three. Don't forget to draw the picture I showed you. Rewind the video if you don't remember. And then here's number four. A triple bond is when you have an atom that connects to another atom or more with three electrons instead of one, making it one of the strongest bonds there are. Okay, don't forget your original sentence for three and four, and then the drawings um, that I showed you. Have a great day.